Hi, Sharon Brennan here, Cottage Chain Stamper. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from Minnesota. And today I wanted to do a flashback card that I did a few years ago. My oldest grandson is actually graduating from high school. Um, very proud of him. And especially of my daughter because she has homeschooled him since kindergarten. So this is a card that I really like because um, it stands up. And I like to call it head and shoulders above the rest. So, kind of what I think of my grandson. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, I've done this one in gold um, because he's homeschooled, doesn't really have school colors. But usually, if you want to find your school colors, just go to the home page of your school and you can usually find out what they are if you don't know already. Um, I had to do a couple of college cards a few years ago for our church and that's where I went to find out what their school colors and then I tried to match them as best I can. So um, let's get started on this card. I created a template a few years ago and a PDF instruction plate or instruction sheet um, that I will update and put on my uh, website, cottagelanestamper.com. And I'll also up upload it to my Facebook page, which is Cottage Lane Stamper with an ampersand. I'll show you here. Um, like that. Cottage Lane Stamper and friends. So, anyway, I needed to refresh myself on how I, do how I did this. And one of the reasons I'm redoing the video is because I had just pretty much started out doing videos and everything was upside down and the vid the audio was not good quality. I was having trouble with um, recording with my iPhone. It was actually a Facebook Live. So I will um, put this on there too. I don't know. We're going to start with a piece of black cardstock that is four and a half by nine. And we're going to score it at two and a quarter and four and a half. And I'll put all these dimensions on my um, blog too. So let's start with that. And I have already pre-cut um, most of the pieces, so you don't have to do that. But So here's my uh, piece of black cardstock. It is four and a half by nine inches. And I'm going to bring in my trimmer. And we're going to score this at two and a quarter. Make sure I have my, let's see if I can zoom out just a tad. There, now you can see all the junk on my desk too. <laughs> so two and a quarter and four and a half, which is half of the half of the nine inches and then half again of the four and a half inches. So we're going to score that and then while we have it in here we are going to flip it around <coughs> and we are going to make pencil marks at two and a quarter Let's see if my pencil's kind of let it be two and a quarter if it's good make a mark yep on both sides now we are going to and this is the side with the the other the two and a half, uh, quarter score mark right so we are going to line our paper up in our paper trimmer and we're going to score from here down to here. So from two and a quarter to two and a quarter. And let's see if I can get that here. So lined this two and a quarter up with uh, the gutter of the trimmer and this one is lined up two and a quarter with the gutter and the trimmer on here. So or groove or what do you want to call it. So we're going to score that. 
and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So find the score mark, line it up with the pencil mark, and score that. Now, <clears throat> oops, I needed to make a pencil mark at the bottom. This is the two and a half inch score mark here. So at the opposite end, we're going to put a pencil mark at the two and a quarter inch mark down here, and we're going to erase those later. So now we are going to cut from this two and a quarter mark to this two and a quarter mark. We're going to cut off those corners. Line that up. I see that. Bring it down a little bit so you can see. So two and a quarter to two and a quarter. So cutting off those corners. And if it helps, I'll just make a pencil mark on your paper between those two two lines. So two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Okay, now we are done with that. So now we have our piece of cardstock that is all scored and you want to make sure that they intersect exactly in the middle here or you're going to have troubles um, with the fold. So um, try to, this one goes like this and you're going to want to use your um, bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder use an edge of your block and that will work really well too. So then this one goes like this. Because you want really nice sharp corners. And this one goes the same way. And then these two get folded, scored like this. Just bend that back. And there you have your card. So, and I like to give it a good burnish afterwards, too. So, here we have the base of our card. Now, we are going to put um, the colors of the school on the card. And I'm going to make this one for Noel. And I've got a couple of pieces of purple. Please don't ask me what color this is. I grabbed it out of my scrap box. It must be a retired color. But for the life of me, I can't remember what it is. So, anyway, we have two purple. Because this is pretty much the purple that they have in school. And, you know, just try to do your best to um, come close to the, corn, the school colors. So you can put them right up to the edge. But I think this time I'm going to leave a little bit of border. So I'm going to glue those on there. And I made them, a, this is two and a quarter, but I made them just a little bit, um, i got to make sure I'm getting this on the right side, so, yep. Um, just a little bit longer so I can trim it off if I need to. There's one. And there's the other. So if it's just a little bit short, it's best to come down to the bottom of the card than, um, than to the folds. I think this is a little bit... I like glue because I can manipulate it a little bit more. So I want to have the borders as close as I can to each side. So there. And I didn't do this on my grandson's car, but I think I'm going to go back and do it. I'm going to put a white stripe down here. So, and this is just an eighth of an inch long. And I kind of wanted to get this video out early because some graduations are early. My son, grandson will be home, um, graduating with other homeschooled kids. And... 
I wanted to get, they graduate in May, actually. So we're going to, and I should be using my silicone mat so I don't get glue all over everything. Yeah, we're, I shouldn't have, hopefully this is pretty much the same size. I guess I'll have to trim a little bit in. I didn't want to get glue on my scissors, but I went all the way to the end. But we're going to trim that off from the back. And I notice I have a little glue here. You can rub that off with your finger. <clears throat> or I have a, a glue eraser, adhesive eraser that I had for years, and it just will take that glue right off. So, And now I've got more glue on it from my fingers. So. <laughs> One of the disadvantages of glue. So there is our card. And it's going to sit like this. And that's why I call it head and shoulders. Because it looks like sitting head and shoulders above everything else. So um, while we're on this side, if you want, you could, um, on this side here, you can cut a piece of cardstock that's two and a quarter by four and a half. And glue it here and then you can put your sentiment there so I think we'll do that I'm gonna wait because I like to I'm gonna write on it so if I was gonna stamp on it I would um, wait to do it or if you're gonna write you might want to wait later in case you mess up with your penmanship <laughs> I'm gonna take a chance here and because this is um for um, I'm just gonna put this on my website for sale so um, I don't have anybody from New Ulm that I'm aware of that's graduating. So, and if they're graduating with honors, you could use um, gold here. I forgot to mention, this is crushed curry. So that's the gold that I have used. So now we're going to do the inside part. Nope, we're going to do the, the, the tassel. Um, because if you're going to do a tassel and use a brad like I have here, you want the prongs of the tassel to be covered up by the, the front of the card. So we've got our piece of card stock that is three, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat. A hole in it already and we're gonna line this up I cut down my use um, my grid paper to match my paper piercing mat just to keep it clean so if you wanted to you could actually draw a line from here to here I've kind of lined them up or if you just want to eyeball it you can do that too just depends on how particular you are or how good you are at eyeballing things. This one, I just eyeballed it. So we're going to take our, take your pick tool and punch a hole right in the middle. There. Now we're going to make our tassel. So I've got some black baker's twine. I have bought tassels in the past, but they seem just a little bit too big. So I'm going to wrap, first I'm going to cut off a piece of um, about four inches or so. Just guess, it doesn't matter. Um, just make it long enough so you can tie with it. And then I'm going to take it and wrap it around three of my fingers about ten or twelve times. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I started at the bottom with it at the bottom of my fingers, and that's where I'm going to cut it off. So now we're going to take this other piece, and the bottom pieces are at the bottom, um, the cut pieces are at the bottom, and I'm going to tie this piece around here. If I can see it kind of getting lost in all the other pieces, so. There we go, that works a little better. 
and I'm going to tie it there loosely and then I'm just going to slide it up so I have a place to put my brad and then tie it, tighten it up again and tie it again so I have a knot holding it together and then we're just going to, you could use um, DMC floss too if you have that that would work really well if you don't have um, black baker's twine but it is available I believe on the website I'll double check that and get the numbers for you so then I cut through the loops on the bottom and then I'm just going to trim them all off so they're nice and even there and I have two pairs of scissors one that I cut fabric um, trim with ribbons and such and then this one I just use for my like um, fussy cutting or whatnot for cutting paper basically so we'll get rid of that now I'm going to erase my pencil marks or I could just flip it over <laughs> that works too right no one's gonna see this because it's gonna get glued down So I'm going to use one of our brads, and these are round and square brads, and these are actually retiring. So today is April 16th, 2024, and they are retiring. I do like these because they are a little bit longer. This part is a little bit longer than the ones I've, I've had. Um, I'm not sure if they're making longer ones in the stores or not, but these will be going on clearance and you get, or they probably are on clearance, you get 200. So these are going to last you a long time. So we are going to put our, and you could use, I've used um, dimensionals in the past too for this. So to stick it on or you, you can use glue, stamp and seal plus something sturdy so that it's going to stay on there and and I like the square one because the round ones are a little bit smaller heads so poke it through there make sure that it's secure flip it over and bend the prongs back and I like to use my wound folder just to give them a nice, nice press. So there we have, um, this is called, uh, I can't remember, the mortar, mortar board, <laughs> I think that's right. So we're going to glue this on the back here like this. And like I said, I like using glue because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room for sliding. If you wanted, you could use um, Stamp and Seal Plus, but you want a nice, good, strong, sturdy glue. So line those up and voila, we have the back done with the tassel. I think most tassels are black. Unless you're graduating with honors, then they're gold. At least that's my recollection from school from <coughs> 50 years ago. So um, <laughs> then we have a piece of three and a quarter, I believe. Nope, this is three by three um, inch white cardstock. And I'm going to kind of line it up with the lines there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are going to embellish this or decorate our little inside. Let me just move it in smidge here. So um, I've kind of lined it up in my grid paper diagonally. So these lines, my vertical lines, line up with the grid paper. And you can embellish this however you wish because you know what? It is your card. And um, whoever you give it to is going to love it anyway. 
You don't have to use the same materials I'm using, just use what you have on hand. Um, what I'm going to be using is a congratulations stamp from Lovely's Tree. And that is a, a new set coming out in the 2024-2025 catalog. And I'm just using some black memento and I'm going to stamp it towards the top. And then this stamp, it says, so very proud of you. And that is also in um, a stamp set that is in our catalog. It's called So Sincere. And like I said, I'll have this information on my website and it'll also be on the PDF instruction sheet. And then I have an old cap and gown stamp. Um, this was from, let's see. Round of applause. So this one is, this is retired and also has the laurel stamp on it. So if you can find it on eBay or on one of the Facebook groups that sell um, retired things, you can use it. It also has the congratulations and lots of um, sentiments. There is a new set that I don't have. It's called Cap and Gowns. Um, I don't know that it has a cap on it though. So we're going to stamp this right here. And then I have a laurel wreath that is from a golf set that I said um, it was called Golf Dice. <laughs> and I like that it has this laurel wreath in it. So I think I got this before I got the other stamp set. Um, round of applause. So we are going to bring our silicone mat back in. And make sure I have the right side if you're never sure. With dies, the edges are kind of rounded on the right side. So, and they kind of curve up a little bit. I mean, it's not very noticeable. Um, so if you do it accidentally the wrong way, nobody's probably going to notice it except for you. But I'm just going to put a few dots of glue on here. And if you had, you could also use the self-adhesive sheets. So I'll try to pick this up without getting any glue on my fingers. And we're gonna put this right at the bottom here, so it kind of wraps around. And I'm just gonna spread it out a tad. And what I like to do is take a clear block and just let that set for a minute. Um, usually I do this far part before I do this part just so this can sit and but if you're using ink it is not a critical thing so in the meantime what we're gonna do is well that's the one I've already finished <laughs> in the meantime while we're waiting for that to dry we are going to take um, and do some stamp and seal plus or glue let's see I got my stamp and seal plus and we're gonna put some right in this triangular area And this will hold the card down so it stands nice. So, got that there. And we can take our block off. And we can use our stamp it to a plus again. No, I'm going to use glue just because of the wiggle factor. <laughs> Or scooching factor or whatever you want to call it and we're going to slide this right down in here there's going to be a little bit of a tiny border all the way around and there you have your heads and shoulders above the rest card for graduation so um, I hope you enjoyed this like I said I'll have all the supplies and the dimensions on my Facebook page and then also on um, I have a PDF I'll update this one uh, with the information that I've used today um, and the sizes and the supplies that I use so um, then I'll put that in the on my website cottagelanesamper.com it'll be in the digital downloads and on my Facebook page it will be 
in the file section. Um, and it'll be a PDF so you can print it out, okay? So I hope that's helpful. I hope you enjoy this card. Um, and uh, I enjoy spending time with you. I hope you do as well. And you'll find this on my YouTube channel, my blog, and on my Facebook page. So anyway, if you need any Stampin' Up! supplies, here are some QR codes that you can use. This is for my Stampin' Up! website. And you just open your smartphone camera and hone it on there, and it'll say open. It'll, a little gold pop-up thing you should say open in whatever. And you just click on that and it opens to my store. This is my blog. CottageLineStamper.com. This is my events calendar, and this is if you want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. So, uh, thanks again for joining me today. If you ever have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to be doing, I think, another couple more graduation cards because it's that time of year again. And um, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. And tip over. Don't fall over, son. There we go. <laughs> I like it because they can stand up and, and sit on a shelf. So anyway, thanks again for stopping in. Take care and may God bless you.